Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Let's kick off December with some cozy illustration, like a hot coffee and these cookies. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it really helps my channel to grow. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Let's open empty Blender file and first I will delete the default cube and the light. We can leave the camera in place and let's press Shift A and let's start with circle and I think something like 24 segments will be fine. Maybe we can go even less. Let's try something like 12. We'll use subdivision modifier anyway. So let's tab in and press F to fill and now press E to extrude. So we have a cylinder, but it has origin point down at the bottom and now press S and scale it up like this. Press X and delete faces. We want it to be open and now let's press Ctrl R and create a loop cut right here, right click to release and press S to scale. Now we can tab out and press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision modifier and additionally right click and shade smooth. Now we'll add some more additional loops. So tab in and let's alt click the loop down there, press Ctrl B to add the bevel and now increase the number of cuts to three with mouse wheel and let's confirm like that. So I think this will be fine for a cup you can maybe make it a little bit taller, whatever works for you. And now let's additionally go to the modifiers tab and let's add the solidify modifier like this and let's move it over the subdivision here. So it gets subdivided as well. And now increase the thickness to something like this. So in the end, it's that nice thick coffee cup. And additionally, we can add some more loops here to round it up at the top. So now I want to create the handle and to do that, uh, the best thing is to reuse some of the geometry. But if you look from the top by pressing seven on an numpad, we have a point aligned with the X axis. So I want to rotate this a little bit so we can extrude the face. So let's press A to select all, R and 15 to enter 15 degrees for the rotation and 15 because 360 divided by 12 is 30 and that divided by two is 15. That's exactly the number of degrees we need to rotate this so we have our face aligned with the x-axis or rather that it's perpendicular to x-axis and now let's rotate this a little bit select this edge right here let's press shift d to duplicate it p and enter to separate to a new object you can see it here in the outliner now tab out select that new object and tab in let's hit a to select all and we can make it smaller so press s then y and reduce the size on y axis a little bit and now let's hit one for a front view and you can extrude a handle like this. And of course we can fine tune this. So let's enable X-ray view, hit one for a vertex select and we can select these vertices here and extrude them even further like this. So it goes inside a little bit. Okay, and now just right click and shade smooth. So as you can see, if you reuse geometry like that, it has all the modifiers like the object that it will separate it from. So that helps to speed up the workflow. And now let's create some geometry for the liquid. So let's press shift A and let's add a circle here and we can make it smaller. So again, let's toggle the X-ray tab in and make this smaller like this. And we can press G then Z, move it up and then F to fill and E to extrude up until here maybe and scale it up. And of course we can add a loop with control R, right click to release and scale it up. And again, we can press control two for some subdivision modifier and add some loops. Right now I will alt shift click the top loop as well and press control B and do a bevel like this, right click and shade smooth. So that will create this nice edge there. So it's not just going through the cup geometry. So that's for the coffee mug and let's parent everything to the cup. So let's select all, control P and parent to object. 
this way we can just move it to the side and now let's create some cookies so let's press shift a and let's add a circle again and we can make this larger a little bit let's press f to fill and e to extrude and let's make this a little bit smaller just like that and now let's tab out let's press ctrl 2 for that subdivision modifier and again we'll add some supporting loops by beveling the bottom loop and we can select the top face press i to inset and bring it up by using g and z and right click shading smooth and now for some chocolate chips so let's press shift a and let's add a cube for a change press g then x move it to the side and now let's press ctrl 1 for subdivision modifier with one level of subdivision now let's hover over the subdivision press ctrl a to apply that modifier tab in and make this a little bit smaller and scale it on z so s then z scale it down a little bit and this is the way how i'm creating stylized rocks most of the time so let's choose a bisect tool and right now i will just cut through this and clear outer and choose fill so we have this nice large cut areas okay i think this should be fine maybe this is too small here so we can shift some things around to make this triangle larger and here as well I'm using double G for sliding these vertices. And now let's just go to the modifiers tab and let's add the bubble modifier here. Let's increase number of segments to three. And we'll go to the object data properties, enable auto smooth in the normal section and increase to 180 degrees. And now we can change method from angle to none. So every possible edge gets a bevel. And now we can scale this down and let's go to the snapping options enable face snapping and align rotation to target project individual elements and now we can just press g and by holding control we can snap it to the surface make it smaller and press alt d to duplicate and by holding control snap it somewhere else and now we can play with scaling so select some of these scale them around and press r twice to rotate them that will create some nice variation here and we have a simple cookie with some chocolate chips and now we can select all shift click the cookie press ctrl p and parent everything and to make things a little bit more interesting we can create one more so let's press shift a let's add a circle and now i want to go for 16 segments and now tab in and let's go to select and checker the select so we have every other vertex selected and now press s and scale it down so we have star shape and now hit a to select all press f to fill extrude and now let's press ctrl r and make few cuts here just like this and let's go for face select by pressing 3, select the top face and we can enable proportional editing here, press S and scale it down and remember you can adjust the proportional editing fall off with mouse wheel like this and let's create a shape just like that and now let's press R, Z and create a little bit of a swirl like this and we can make it a little bit lower now if you tab out and press ctrl 2 you have a nice interesting shape shade is smooth and we have yet another cookie so we have our object modeled and now i will create a plate and create some kind of composition add a few simple materials a little bit of details create the lighting and everything um, i want to keep these tutorials pretty short so this time again I wanted to show you these quick modeling techniques in combination with all those modifiers um, so that you can create your object in the most effective way and shortest time possible. And now I will fast forward and create the scene. You can get inspired, slow down the YouTube video playback if you want to see some things in detail. And I will see you on the other side.
So that's the coffee cup with cookies illustration for you. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave that like. And again, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day. Thank you.